<laughs> just shift gears a little bit and talk about our canine friends and how to take care of them. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's actually acupuncture for dogs. Did you know really? That? Sure. Yeah, exactly. Very interesting topic. Take a look at this. Show them how much you love them with Bob Martin. For the past five years, Bella has been Jenny's best friend. She's been with her owner since her puppy days and is a happy, friendly dog despite a few physical problems. Bella is a Shetland sheepdog. I got her from a, a breeder in Johannesburg and um, she was three months old when, when I collected her from the airport. They are not very um, common in South Africa and I've had two of them before and they really are special dogs. Bella's been going to Megan for two years. I noticed as a puppy that she struggled to get up and um, after sending her to a specialist we discovered that she had hip and elbow dysplasia um, and she needed treatment. Um, along with that she's also got a thyroid condition so she is a very challenged dog. Acupuncture isn't just for humans and can be a wonderful treatment for specific problems in dogs. There are two types of acupuncture. Traditional Chinese acupuncture, which focuses on qi or life forces where the needles are placed in points to release blocked qi or life energy. The other Western scientific form will have needles placed in areas where they can trigger the release of hormones and encourage the body to heal itself. I noticed this morning that she had a bit of a limp. Is there anything you can do about that? Yeah, so I saw as she came in, she was a little bit sore. And I'll do some points down her leg, and I can also do some laser. Um, and we'll have a feel and see, see where she's sore. Bella's been coming to you for a while now. Um, will she need continual treatment? You know, um, Bella's got a chronic condition, um, and um, she's, her arthritis is quite severe. So I think more than likely, we're going to have to keep her on a maintenance program. Um, and at the moment, she's on every two weeks, and I think she's maintaining well. Um, the arthritis is not going to get any better, um, so we'll have to probably keep her on every two weeks. After her last treatment uh, a couple of weeks ago, I noticed she was a bit tender. Uh, she has been tender in the past before, but I haven't mentioned it. Is this normal? Um, that can be normal. Um, some cases, um, 24 to 48 hours after the acupuncture, they can be a little bit sore. Um, what I'll do today um, is not, not put as many needles in, um, because the more needles in, the more response that you get. Initially, your pet may require acupuncture once a week for four to six weeks. After that, an assessment will determine if regular treatment is needed. I'm going to use the um, intense applicator of the magnetic therapy today just on her shoulder, um, just because she's got that injury there and, and she's a little bit sore just to help with that inflammation. Don't worry folks, nobody's going to turn your four-legged friend into a pincushion or a science experiment. The needles and electronic equipment won't hurt your dog. The treatment is working for her. I have noticed that she, she gets up a lot easier. I used to have to carry her up and down stairs, but now she's able to get up them and she's able to go down them quite comfortably. A good treatment plan, as well as some delicious and nutritious Bob Martin food, will ensure Bella is healthy and happy for many more years to come. Show them how much you love them with Bob Martin.